Hello everybody, welcome to Crafting Chills. I am your host Helsinki. Welcome to Midnight Scenes, a safe place. The all seeing eye. The Eve. Phil Lana, 23 years old, the four walls of his room have been his stronghold, a safe haven where he can take shelter from the outside world. In tonight's episode, his new life will be threatened by terrible nightmares that will take him to unexpected limits. Turn off the lights and immerse yourself in this frightful story. Welcome to a new dimension of horror. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. I like the introduction, that's very nice. I don't know much about this game. Other than that it's been newly released. Life will have to wait. Twelve steps. No activity registered this month. Wow. Confirm. Must not move around very much. I've been living in my bedroom for thirty days. I remember the moment I opened the door for the last time. Looking into the dark hallway, I froze. A sense of intense dream dread overcame me. I could only look, I could only lock the door and hide under the bed sheets. I haven't gone out since then. From that day forward, I stopped being Phil, the reliable, well-behaved, hard-working son, and became a parasite in my parents' home. As father likes to remind me, I'm ashamed to my family and this community. There are times when I feel like I should try to go out just one more time in case it's all just a bad dream. Uh-oh, wants us to leave the room. I'm not sure if I want to either now. Nope. But it never works. Never, ever. The shadows keep harassing me, day and night. Faceless nightmares that invade my mind. What do they want from me? They want you to stay in your room, that's what they want. My insanity hangs by a thread. 
I'm only able to satisfy my basic needs. Everything else is beyond my brain's capacity. Normally when you get up you have to go pay, so let's do that first thing. Um, my bladder is going to bust. I hope I have some empty bottles left in the in the closet. Well, he's not even using them. He doesn't even have a toilet in his room. I don't know. Here's his closet. Oh boy. Oh sh Oh my lord. Yeah, cause they, those are pee bottles. I can tell. Yeah, we got a few empty bottles left. Let's go ahead and use one of them. This will do. Oh my. <laughs> I hope he doesn't think it's Mountain Dew later on. That's, oh, that's better. I'll put the bottle back in the closet. Put it on this shelf right there, yes. Two, three, four, five. Five bottles full of brim with pee. Took full to the brim with pee. I think it's time to throw them in the trash can. Don't you think? And maybe that poop bucket too. Man, it's got flies coming out of it. You're starting into your own ecosystem in there. So you're looking out the window. I can't just throw the bottles from here, uh, from up here. Why not? Look, there's a trash can right there. I'll need a bag and a rope to, sl to slide them down carefully into the trash can. That means we gotta find a bag now. Where are we gonna find a bag at? I can't. There's a paper bin. Let's take a look around at my bed. Looks like my shoes, a heater. Right, let's take a look at the. Right now I need to throw the bottles in the trash can. Oh, but we gotta find them first. Look in the paper bin. Ah, there's a trash bag right there. A bag to put the bottles in. Great. Now, all I need is a rope to slide the bottles down into the trash can. And I feel like I gotta solve this guy's problems. Probably gonna have to tie shirts together. Guessing. Let's go look over here. I need to lower the bottles into the trash can. I already have a bag, so I only need to find a rope. There's some fishing line. That would do. A souvenir from the hunting and fishing expedi expeditions with father. Finally, I can put this thing to practical use. I have everything I need. Now, let's lower the bottles into the trash can. Are the bottles already in there? I have to lower the bottles carefully inside the bag so they don't break. Okay, I see. We gotta put everything together. Put, put this. Drag this into the bag. Drag this into there, I guess. We gotta bring this up. There we go. Here we go. Um, what do we do now? Just kind of... 
Whoa, okay, it's falling my mouth. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn wind. Oh lord, we can't do anything with that. I guess we have to pull it back. We can. Pull back. Oh, it's gonna break, ain't it? Oh shit, I caught myself with a fishing line. So much blood. Texas, Texas changed all mascot levels of gore. Oh shit. Oh my god. Philip, what was that noise? Is everything all right? Phil's not answering. Mother again. Are you hungry, dear? I baked some pancakes for you. With syrup and extra butter, your favorite. She listens. on the door again and says Philip she waits honey I've been it's been exactly a month since you locked yourself in your room your sister and I miss you very very much and your father is losing his patience she pauses Do you think you could come out just this one time? I have breakfast and have breakfast with us like a family. She waits again. And then Philip responds. I want to mother. It's just that I can't. Stop. It's okay, I guess. I'm leaving the pancakes right here behind the door, Mother says. This afternoon, I'll pick them up. Uneaten, as always. Philip says, I have everything I need right here, mother. Mama cried. God, why does he have to punish me like this? Am I such a bad mother? She sobs more. Uh, Phil says, she's gone. Finally. I have to patch this wound before I bleed out. This sock will do. I only wore it twice. Mm. Mental note. Next time I slide a trash bag out the window, I should use gloves. And mental health is a big issue these days, I think, anyways. Mental note, mental health is our big issues. What a mess, Phil says. As he closes his window. I hate seeing mother suffering. Unlike father, I know she tries to understand my condition. I like to tell her that I feel safe here. But I'm so ashamed of it all that words get stuck in my throat. Okay, so let's 
this this um, social ideas. Spying on the neighbors is not exactly virtuous, but what the hell? It's not like I have many ways to relieve my loneliness here. Okay, so he wants to spy on his neighbors. Look through the telescope. What is he gonna find out there? Okay. Okay, that's very nice. Oh, this guy getting gas. Mr. Timbers fills the tank every day, sometimes more than once. I wonder where he's driving. something. Mrs. Potter is a hardcore atheist. Our former pastor learned this lesson fast, but poor Father Adams moved here just a few days ago. Huh. Poor Mr. Pastor Adams. I can't even go to church right now because I'm too afraid. <gasps> uh oh. A melting snowman. She's in a hurry. Always trying to get up in her. Never succeeds, I suppose. Uh oh, what happened there? There's blood at the church. Is that where she bashed the priest? person in this damn town who doesn't judge me. Or maybe she just hides her disgust. I used to work in her mother's grocery store during the holidays to earn some extra money. I miss that life so much. Nowadays Noel sneaks into my garden once or twice a week to bring me food. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead for sure. Mm. Ah, Noel. Or no, I guess that's her name, I don't know. You're such an extraordinary human being. I love her, I guess. 
Boop, boop. <laughs> well, we peed, we spied, and now it's eat. Yep, I'm hungry. I'm starving. Let's see what I get. let's see what I can get for breakfast. Hopefully, it's not in the same closet as our pee and poop. But it could be. Is it gonna be in there? Let's check it out. Oh yes, it is in there. Oh, my God. I love this guy. Corn beef. I feel like some noodles. Perfect. Now I just have to heat it up. Right next to our poop bottle here, our poop can here. Even do that kind of thing. <sighs> and now the only thing left is to warm myself. It's getting quite chilly in here. My hands are frozen. I need to warm up the room. There's the heater. Where did I leave the lighter? <laughs> I must have put it somewhere around here. Where would I put a lighter? Would it be on this cabinet? Nope, the lighter is not here. How about up here on the shelf? Oh, there you are. How do you end up inside? How did you end up inside a pot of noodles? Hmm? I don't know. I don't care. I found the ladder. I just need to turn the heater on. and cozy now. Much better. Every day is exactly the same to me. Indistingu indistinguishable from the rest. Just sleep, eat, watch TV. Well, you missed something, mister. You just sleep, eat, shit, and watch TV. Far, this game is pretty fun in a strange way I guess but it's this constant routine that helps me stay sane routine is good for you but also routine is bad for you if I'm lucky enough to not have mother and father knocking on my door I consider it a great day Hey Phil, Noel here. 8.40 p.m. Are you ready for our date? No, that's not gonna get you out this door. I don't know what is, Phil. Oh, she is quite cute too. 8.41. This is from Noel again. Well, what movie are we watching tonight? Noel convinced me to have a movie. <coughs> Excuse me. A movie night date. Every few days to cheer me up. Oh, okay, so we're not.
going on an actual date. We're just watching something together. We watch a horror flick together while we chat. Why would you watch a horror flick if you... Oh my gosh. Phil. This is from Phil. I fancy something mild. Of course you do. This is Phil again. How about kill and let kill? Noel says, good choice. I like romance. Now they watch the movie together. Twin Pies, 1986. Noel says, a lake town full of drunk teenagers. Celebrating the summer. Nothing can go wrong, she says. And Noel says again, hey, how's your day going anyways? Phil says, slightly better now that, I, now that I'm talking to you. Uh-oh. You're my only friend left, Phil says. Noel says, don't be silly. Woman, honey, did you leave the shit light on? This is the movie. Damn kids, they must have sneaked into the garden again, says the man. I'm gonna teach them a lesson. Noel says, I was worried. You haven't logged in for hours. <sighs> Phil says, I'm sorry. I've been dozing on and off the whole day. I'm very tired. This is my last try, Noel says. Are you sure you don't want my therapist's number? Dude, if you don't take that therapist's number... And you're not even gonna even try it. Come on. She's she's the best, she says. Noel says. She helped me recover from my depression. And it was a deep one. And she's an anime geek too. That's a nice extra. I'll th I'll think about it, says Phil. Promise. Back to the movie. Hello? Anyone there? Jump scares incoming, says Noel. Probably a cat. The usual trope cat. Yes. Noel says, there it is. One point for me. You've seen too many B-movies, Phil says. So how are you doing anyway, Noel? Well, you know, I'm crazy busy at the grocery store, she says. With this cold, it's home delivery orders all the time. You know how it is. Back to the movie. There was... There was no one, honey. I must have left the light on myself. By the way, Noel says, I don't know if I should tell you. This year's Anime Con tickets are already available, she says. Uh oh, slasher time, says Noel. <laughs> oh. Are you going to the anime con, says Phil. I don't know yet, 
she says. It would be weird without you, my loyal cosplay partner. Please don't go without me. Oh, well, because no, you're not going to go. You should definitely go. You can't break th the tradition. I guess, says Noel. Sorry to leave you hanging, says Phil. We put a lot of work into our costumes during the during the year, and now I fear I won't be sharing those special moments with you ever again. Of course you will, says Noel. You'll get over this little bump, you'll see. Especially if you talk to the therapist like you're supposed to. Anyways, enough movie from me, says Noel. Gotta hit the hay. Alone. Mom will kill me if I show up late at the store tomorrow. Goodbye. Not not, says Phil. I wish I had the strength to go to I wish I had the strength to go to the convention with you, Noel. I'm fighting the I'm fighting to leave this room every damn second. No, you're not. But in the meantime, I can only go back to my memories of us together over and over again. From a time when I was capable of being a supportive friend when you needed one. <laughs> I came as soon as I could, says Phil. What happened? Asshole, says Noel. I punched that stupid bastard's face in. I hate him. Who? Says Phil. I don't understand. Noel. My father. She punched her father's face? I got home and found Mom crying her eyes out, baking chocolate plum cakes. She had already cooked seven batches when I arrived, and the eighth was already in the oven. Do you know what that means? Says Noel. Um, an excessively high carb diet, says Phil. No. No, you idiot. My mom bakes plum cakes like a, like a maniac when she feels depressed. Dad confessed to her this morning that... Dad confessed to her this morning what she had suspected for months. He's been having an affair with a student in his class. Oh shit. Says Noel. He says he loves her. And now he wants to start a new life with her. And... <laughs> Damn. Says Phil. I'm sorry, Noel. I guess we're not enough for him. She says. Weapon son of a... Hey, you know what, says Phil. You two are better off without him. Noel doesn't answer. Hey, Ashy woman, are true warriors, says Phil. If he's not up to par, there's the door. Your mother is tough as nails, and you? Look at you. You got your second cosplay award at <laughs> AnimeCon. Show me your war cry, says Phil. Phil, stop, Noel says. This is the least comforting speech in history. <laughs> but thank you anyway. I love you for trying.
now there we are there lying in bed. Another day, just like the rest. I wonder if this is going to be my life from now on. Only if you let it. Just taking up space in my parents' house, like a piece of furniture. At least I can buy food with my own money. That makes me feel a little less like a parasite. Which reminds me, I'm super low on supplies. Purchase on purchase food online. If I place my order now, Noel will bring it over this afternoon. I feel like I'm abusing her generosity, but seeing her face up close always brightens my day. Hot essence. Okay, there's where we want to go. So these other ones are recycle bin, whack a mole, search engine, whack a mail, legit news. Check on what's legit news. Legit news: a modern, serious take on information for the concerned citizen. Massive asteroid could extinguish life on Earth in 10 years. Have you ever wondered what would happen if the planet we call home was pulverized in a massive celestial collision? We may find out very soon. We are totally safe. N34476S will be passing close in astronomical terms, but it won't collide with us, Earth, assures Dr. Letter, leader of the team that made the discovery. Is humanity doomed? Will our grandchildren be the last inhabitants of the planet Earth? Subscribe to learn more. Should we subscribe? We got money, right? Let's is hot essence write your worries here and let them go I think my girl can't stand me anymore she's going to leave me for what I can't even read them my back hurts so much it's definitely a tumor right I know it's I know it is I'm defending my thesis Tomorrow, I'm gonna make a fool of myself. Okay. Let's order some groceries. How much money do I have? I don't, um, I don't want tomato soup. I like noodles. Let's order some noodles. I don't need it. I don't need to add anything else. Oh, we already got. So this is what we're already ordering. We need two bottles. Alright. This is... Uh-oh. What? The card on file has expired or is about or is out of funds. Your transaction was declined due to insufficient funds in your account. Please contact your bank. What the? That that's probably is like the worst nightmare of anybody. Is there something wrong with my card? Uh oh. Card temporarily cancelled. For more information, please contact your bank office as soon as possible. Cancelled? I wonder who cancelled my card. Shit. Father. You've gone too far this time. What am I supposed to do now? Mm. Half eaten candy bar over there. Father, why'd you do this to me? <gasps> da 
damn it, Papa. This is from Papa. What? Jill says nothing. Is someone there? Hello, says Papa. Jill doesn't say a word. Oh, you're Phil's ghost, aren't you, says Papa. My brother used to sleep in that room, but he locked himself there a month ago and we never heard from him again, says Papa. I think he died, she says. Very funny. I'm not sure if Phil says it out loud or just thought, thought wise. If the music bothers you so much, brother, you're free to come turn it. You're free to come turn the volume down yourself. There you go. Papa, my sister, a real whirlwind. She definitely knows how to make our lives less boring. <laughs> Father Cunningham, she's strong, Jacob. She'll make it, he says. Mrs. Phil, is she going to die, Father? Father, don't be stupid, son. I need a smoke, says Father. Who lives, who dies, that's not for us to decide, Phil says Father Cunningham. Only God guides our destiny, says the Father. Well, I'm guessing she lived. Oh, there, oh she's just a little tiny baby. Keep fighting, sis. I love you. When you get out of here, I'll always be by your side, taking care of you. went from the only child to overprotective older brother. Mother told me I had to be Papa's superhero and always have her back. Over time, Papa grew up into a diff difficult girl and God knows she suffered. Father's abuse more than anyone would ever deserve. I try to shield her from his wrath like a real superhero would, but I don't think I could, but I don't think I'd do a very good job. And now I lack the strength to be out there for her. I hate myself for that. The house is a mess, this Phil. ceiling. <gasps> this is our father here. Won't you even answer? Have you gone deaf in there? Phil says nothing. I have been working my butt off to give you and your sister a good life, says Father. And what do I get in return? A demon child and a slacker. Phil says nothing still. 
What the hell happened to you, son? You weren't like this before. Still Phil, still Phil says nothing. Sigh. <sighs> this situation is getting very tiring, says father. Your poor mother gets up every, early, every morning to bring you your favorite breakfast. And you just leave it here to rot. At least the ants are delighted, says father. Still feels that says nothing. Maybe the time's come for drastic measures, says father. Like canceling my bank account, says Phil. You should thank your mother for stopping me, says father. I would have dragged you out there by your feet a long time ago. Drastic measures? Oh God, says Phil. Hey, calm down, Phil, now. It's just a panic attack. Calm down. That's my words exactly. Nearly, anyways. I'm fine now. <sighs> my father. My effing father. If belittling his children was a sport, he would be the unbeatable champion. How could Papa and I compete against our family's history of greatness and success? My great-grandfather built a logging empire from the ground up, making him one of the richest businessmen in the region. Great-grandfather? <laughs> Then my grandfather inherited the company. He too was a person of great importance in this town. Grandfather, and then daddy. Oh, but the next chapter is the one he usually skips. In less than 10 years, my father managed to ruin the company and the lives of all the families who depended on it. But no matter what, he still wants everyone to believe he's a big shot. So he spends his time being an asshole to everyone around him. There's my phone again. You slept 10 hours, 23 minutes last night. Your batteries are full. Let's go. Confirm. What a nice way to wake up. Okay, Phil. Take a deep breath and focus on your morning routine, says Phil. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, my lord. Oh, my God. And the bucket's still there. Food. Noodles, I'm hoping. Man, it's making me hungry for noodles right now. End our date with Noel. Hey. Good evening, Noel says. What a storm we had. Snow plows are smoking, she says again. Anyway. Movie time. Noel says, did you know the 60s classic space Rav uh, yeah, Ravengers is a got film? Want to watch it? <laughs> Phil says. I don't have a subscription anymore, he says. 
I'm afraid my father canceled my bank account. <gasps> what? Says Noel. Can he do that without your consent? He's an asshole, says Phil. I tried to convince you he did it for your own good, says Noel. But no, you're right. He's an asshole. Don't worry, though, she says. I have friends and family. I have a, I have a friends and family sub. An invite is on his way, she says. Let's accept. Space Ravengers. Something happened this morning, says Noel. You know I suspect that Brian has a big crush on me, right? She says. <laughs> well, she says, he finally asked me out. Hey, she says, are you there? Phil says, what did you say? I think my action was something like, Noel says, I just told him I was late for work. That we should talk about it later, she says. Hmm. You didn't reject him? Says Phil. I thought you weren't interested in him. I know, says Noel. But we talk a lot lately. He's cool. Uh oh. And funny. And smart. And kinda cute. Anyway, she says, my brain is a mess right now. The scientist. These signals are, are abnormal. The earth is in danger. Phil says, I'm sure you'll make the right decision. The only one that he can think of is no. Or, Noel says, I'll screw up like always. The scientist says, have mercy. If you destroy the earth, you'll kill millions of innocent people. Martian leader, innocent. You pointed your weapons at Mars, slaying many of my people. The scientist says, but you would be punishing all humanity for the crimes of a few. Perhaps, says the Martian leader, you have the truth on your side, human. But we have the lasers. Ha 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 ha. Martian soldiers, hi he ha ha. What a bastard, says Noel. Yes, says Phil. Thank goodness it's just a science fiction. Anyway, says Noel. Hey, you didn't order food from the online shop yesterday, she says. Is it because your bank account? I'll talk to my mom, Noel says. She won't mind lending you some food. We do the same with Mrs. Potter at the end of every month, says Noel. I'm sorry to be a to be a burden. Hey, you don't. Hey, don't start, okay? Says Noel. You're not a burden, nor a piece of shit that no one cares about. 
You're a smart, caring guy going through a rough time, says Noel. That's all. And you are my guardian angel, says Phil. That made it her smile. Okay. What's gonna happen today? It has to come to a head at some point. Oh, this dog. Uh oh, my window is opening on his own. The shadow man comes in the house. Oh no, it's my nightmare. <laughs> What the F do you want from me? <sighs> I need to lower my revs. Shit, I, I... Did I leave the TV on? I'm a mess. Morning show with Ray Ortiz. Ortiz. Still suffering the effects of the unending cold wave? We haven't seen the snowstorm like tonight since 1964. Remember to put your warmest clothes when leaving the house and avoid driving unless necessary. Midnight Saints. And almost important of all, don't mess, miss this evening's episode of Midnight Scenes. Written and directed by Sylvia Gardner. In Dance of Spring, Mrs. Lawrence will find her house invaded by a hive of mutant alien ants. Sounds terrifying. Let's check how bad the storm is. There's that dog peeing on everybody again. You did it again. Well done, says Phil. Can't go no further that way. What is that? Oh God, my heart is going to explode. Is this door closed? Looks like it might be. Oh. Yikes. All the collection money will go to fixing the bell tower. Uh oh. The bell tower to the church. This cold wave will end up sweeping the whole town. The church is closed. Sure. Gonna come out just yep, there he goes, just in time. All smiling and another thing. There you are, Brian, the stalker. What a coincidence, you always show up when Noel goes to work. Yeah. Spying through the window. What's he saying? Watches her ass as she walks away. Piper says, Leave me alone. 
You ruined my life. Must be talking to a father. Don't you dare raise your voice at us. Who do you think you are, says father. I'll teach you to show some respect, he says. You don't care about me at all. I hate you, says Papa. Mother cries. Is it true, Jacob? Are we horrible pa parents, says Mother? Both of our children hate us. They don't even want to see us, she says. What are you talking about, says Father? Of course not. But don't worry. I'll find a way to keep these ingrates under check. We can't allow these attitudes any longer, says Father. It's just that Mother sobs more. The Lord is testing us. There's no doubt about that, but I know we're doing a good job, says Father. Our friends, our neighbors, I hear them in the church, says Mother. The whispering about what's happening to this house, she says. Have faith, says Father. Everything will be fine. Talk to Piper. Hey. Hello? Papa, are you there? Are you okay? Oh, look, who decided to break his vow of silence, says Papa. What? What happened, says Phil? <laughs> Leave me alone, says Papa. You don't give a shit either. Whatever it is, I'm sure there's a solution. Sure, I can always follow your example and lock myself in the room for a while, says Papa. Is it because of that boy, Jake? Papa doesn't answer. She just cries. He's been acting very weird lately, and suddenly, says Papa, sobbing. He told me he's trying again with Amanda, his ex, says Papa. <laughs> it's all father and mother's doing. They never approved to my relationship with Jake, says Papa. They talked to his parents and scared him, she says. <laughs> Phil says nothing. But this was just another mark on the wall for father, says Papa. He rejoices in my humiliation, and mother is too stupid to even care, she says. I'm drowning in this effing house. And now, just when I need you the most, you lock yourself in there, she says. <laughs> I never felt so alone, she says. Papa, I, says Phil. No, F you. You're just as shitty as them. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Papa. What? What? What's going on now? What's going on with my PC? What the hell is this? Find the password. What's this? A private invitation? Hmm.
Uh oh. What do we gotta do here? Oh, we gotta spell these. We gotta find one of these words in here. Oh lordy. Let's see. I haven't done one of these kind of things in forever. up into here. We're going to the dark web. Uh oh, some more puzzles. Uh oh. What do we do here? Oh lordy. He's switchable? see a face there now, okay. See how I put them together, but um, Do we have to keep him in his lines. I that's what I don't understand. Trying to understand that, that, that what they want us to do here.
another nightmare. What the hell's wrong with me? I no longer know if I'm sleeping. These shadows that stalk me in my dreams. I feel like they're trying to show me something. Point me to a specific direction. But what does it all mean? Shit, my brain is about to melt down. And there's our phone again. If I percent of our users achieve this daily goal, you still can do it. Good for them, says Phil. It's minus two degrees Fahrenheit. Is it night already? <sighs> Not like it matters. I ran out of food. Unless Noel brings me some more supplies tomorrow, I'll die here. It's off the cold here too, I'm freezing. When will this stupid cold wave end? I need to warm up the room. I ran out of, it ran out of gas, of course. Oh, something came under our door. What is this? A note? Let's take a look at that thing and see what it says. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You are not just as shitty as them. It's just that I feel very lonely and overwhelmed, but I love you, Papa. Thank you, Papa, for the note. Thank you for the apology note, sis, says Phil. I know it sucks living in this house. But I'm here for you no matter what. Are you really now? No matter what, says Papa. Huh. Go back to your coffin. Feels ghost. I'm tired, says Papa. Sure. Good night, says Phil. What should I do now? Where's the flashlight, Rose? Oh no, we lost power to the house. <gasps> it looked like a blackout, says Phil. Oh no. The storm. Oh, there's the power lines. Yep. Indeed, the town is pitch dark. The electrical station hasn't been updated since World War II. There's no way it can stand a cold wave like this. Look at that. There's our gas station. Phil. Uh, I'm sorry. Seriously, Tim. Says Phil. This guy's must be a murderer or something. Eating gas in this storm? Where is he going in such a hurry? We'll never know, will we? Unless we go out there and find out ourselves. Yikes! Kitty kitty. Uh oh, 
the church on fire? Uh oh. Those unbelievers. Uh oh. One shot? What the hell? Brian, what'd you do to yourself? Oh no. Uh oh. What the heck is that thing? Wednesday, 8 a.m. Ah, so no wheels, Noel's room. Today's my day. It's her birthday. Orange juice, black coffee, and a cupcake and an envelope. Mm. I hope it's not a voucher for a motherly hug. Can we mm. open it? Just eat a mm. cupcake. Mmm, yeah, I love cupcakes. Mm. And some black coffee. My first caffeinated beverage, like a grown-up. And some orange juice. No pulp, just the way I like it. I like it with the pulp, though. Hey, Mama. Chocolate cupcake, yum, Mommy. From Noel. Did you think I forgot, says mom. I got up early to bake a batch. Oh, you're the best, mama, says Noel. Happy birthday, honey. Thanks, mom. Perhaps my coming of age includes a pay raise? <laughs> Nice try, says mom. You still have years of learning ahead, honey. You can take this afternoon off and celebrate with your friends, though. Oh, and don't forget to open that envelope, says mom. I hope you like the contents. <laughs> Brian, uh oh. What's up, neighbor? Says Brian. Happy birthday, he says. Noel. Brian, you remembered. Thank you. Was I the first one? Says Brian. Tell me I was. Yeah, sure you were. Says Noel. Would you like to hang out with me after work? Says Brian. I have a present for you. Oh. Really? Says Noel. <laughs> In that case, I'd love to. She says. But I need to go to the Lana's first. Phil needs some supplies, he says. She says. Come with me. She says, uh-oh, this is not going to be nice. Uh-uh. Uh, it's probably a bad idea, says Brian. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't think Phil likes me very much, he says. But it's kind of mutual, to be honest. Uh-oh, he don't like him either. Yeah, says Noel, I noticed. I'll call you later, okay? She says. Awesome, says Brian. 
Have a super duper amazing day, he says. Oh, Lordy. How cute, says Noel. Lordy B. So now we are Noel. Father Adams, good morning, Noel. I'm glad to see you, says the father. Good morning, Father Adams, says Noel. On your way to work, he says. Yeah, winter is crazy, busy. So many home deliveries, she says. I can imagine. Your mother is very lucky to have you. The Lord and I says father, on the other hand, have very little work these days. In this cold wave, people don't feel like leaving their houses, he says. Hmm, says Noel. It does look like a ghost town, doesn't it, says Noel. Do you think I could convince you to come to Mass this Sunday, says the father. I'd be very happy to preach for someone besides the stone walls, he says. My mother would like it. I'll tell my mom. She always recalls how much fun she had singing in the church choir when she was young. There you go, says, uh, says Father Adams. Oh, and bring your friend Phil too says Father Adams. I haven't seen him on the basketball court for weeks, he says. Yes, uh, well, he's having a rough time, says Noel. I'm sorry to hear that, says Father. I'll stop by the Lana's one of these days to say hello, says the Father. Well, I won't keep you any longer, Noel. It was lovely to see you. Say hello to your mother for me, says the father. Uh oh. Is Phil watching me? Creeping on me? Back to the mines. Today is payday. There's mama. Let's go talk to mama. Thanks for the awesome gift, mother. I'm so excited to go to Emicon this year. Anime. Anime. Anime this year. I wish I had someone to go with go with you have two tickets now maybe Phil will break his lockdown to go with you says mom I don't think he can choose when to feel ill or not mom says Noel well what about that boy Brian I've seen you spending a lot of time together says mama Would you let me go with a boy you, you barely know? You'd be okay with me traveling to another side of the country with a boy you barely know, says Noel. Of course I know Brian. I've been friends with his parents since before you were born, says Mom. Besides, I trust you. That's enough for me, says Mother. You're going up, Mom, says Noel. Okay, I might ask him, she says. Hey, Mom, says Noel. Hmm. About Phil. 
His parents canceled his bank account and he can't order food. Mm-mm. Stop right there, says mom. The answer is no. We don't do loans. But mom... Phil has a family who takes care of him. He's not our responsibility, says mom. We give free food to Mrs. Potter. Every month, she's, is, is she our responsibility? She has no one. It's not the same, says mother. Phil's parents don't care about him. Phil's parents only want to keep up appearances. They don't care about his mental health. Well, really, neither does Phil. He's not taking care of himself. He's not seeking help. Please, Mom. He needs our help. That's enough. I'm not going to be the villain in this movie, says Mother. Bring him whatever you want, but it will come out of your pocket, says Mother. Mm. Uh, okay, I guess that's fair. And now, go change, says Mother. We have work to do. Help us save Sparkle. Our kitten was attacked by two crows on Main Street. Oh no. Oh, look at that. It's bandaged up and everything. We don't have enough to pay for vet expenses. We need your help. Donate now at. Oh my god. So, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna help Phil? Or are we gonna help this animal? I don't even want to know. It looks like it's kind of bloody. What's this? A little pebble on the ground? One more for my paperweight collection. To Phil's house. Okay, let's be careful. I don't want the Lanas to catch me bringing stuff to Phil. I'll leave the bags under his window. I should let him know the bags are here or the bottles will explode in the cold. Scare him though. A hot shaped hand. <laughs> You're the best, says Phil. I do without you, he says. Don't thank me, says Noel. You owe me seventy-four dollars. Oh, I added a complimentary chocolate bar, she says. To celebrate my birthday, which by the way you never mentioned. She says. Oh shit, I forgot, he says. Bad. Very bad. Sorry. It's hard 
it's hard to keep track of the calendar in here. Says Phil. Have a birthday. Don't sweat it, she says. <laughs> you owe me $74 and a nice gift. Promise, says Phil. By the way, says Noel. Make sure you close your waste containers tightly. The garden smells horrible. <laughs> that's, that's the piss and the shit that he's been dumping out the window. Yikes. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, he says. I'm out of here. My ass is freezing, she says. Enjoy the chocolate bar, says Noel. Phew. Thank goodness. One more day without food and I'd stop looking like one-eyed willy. Okay, time to refill the pantry. This looks much better. As for you, Mr. Chocolate Bar. Mmm, hazelnuts. My favorite. <gasps> Who's at my door? Philip, are you there, my dear? Says mother. Oh no, says Phil. <gasps> you have a visitor, says mother. It's Father Adams. <sighs> Hello, Phil. I hope you're doing well. Phil doesn't say anything. Your mom says you're feeling a bit down lately, says the father. Is there anything I can do to help? Phil says nothing. You can call me, okay, says the father Adams. There's nothing to be ashamed of. The Lord tests our resilience by putting challenges in front of us, says the father. Phil says nothing. I'll pray for you, my son. And please don't forget your parents are suffering too. Be compassionate with them, says the father. And still Phil says nothing. Thank you, father. I appreciate you coming here, says mother. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help, says father, Adams. Oh, you absolutely were for me, says the mother. Would you like some tea, father? says mother. That would be lovely, thank you, says the father Adams. I'll have the chance to admire that impressive hunting trophy in your dining room, says father Adams. It's from three years ago, Jacob is very proud of it, says mother. Seek some help. He's not gonna get any better on his own. The Shadow, Bill, you're my biggest disappointment. I'll let your ass out of this room, dead or alive. You hear me? But I'll do that again. 
I'll get your ass out of this room, dead or alive, you hear me? Go to the bathroom. Oh shit, my stomach. Okay, I'm hungry. Whoa. Oh no. Oh. And I got a shit at the same time. Uh oh, he's throwing up into the wastebasket. <laughs> this is not good. Not good at all. Oh my god, I'm dying. I barely ate yesterday. Why am I so sick? Maybe I could find an online doctor. It hurts a lot. Oh. 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 Shit. Oh. Oh. Maybe if I wait a little longer, I'll feel better. Maybe not. It's very late, but I should probably ask for help. Let's ask Papa for help first. He's our sister after all. Papa? Papa? Are you awake? Need your help. Uh oh, she's not answering. She must be asleep. It hurts. Oh, now we gotta ask for Noel for help. Are you awake, Noel? I'm both sick. I'm dying. I also don't think I'm getting ready to sneeze. My stomach hurts like hell, and I can't stop throwing up. What should I do? I have no meds here. She's not answering. I can't stand it anymore. I have to do it. I have to go out. Everyone's sleeping now. I could go down the bath to the bathroom and get something for the pain without being noticed. All right. I'm going out. Whoa. Oh my god, my Come on, Phil, you can do it. to go downstairs, pick up the meds, and come back, quick and quiet. Oh, that must be my sister's room, yeah. Go downstairs. Oh shit, you gonna throw up all over the place, make mama clean it up? Ugh. Disgusting. Quiet. This wasn't a good idea. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Someone just turned on the lights. Father. Rose, could I please have a glass of water too? Sure thing, says mother. No. 
that was close. Okay, let's keep going. The pain is killing me. I need to find something for my stomach. There's the cabinet right there. There has to be something here for the pain. Let's see. Cream pot. Cream tube. Cough syrup. Pills. Pills. Eye drops. Painkillers. Yes. This may work. Uh, I should go back to my room before someone finds me. Okay, very carefully. Congratulations, you completed your first 100 steps this month. Shut up. Minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I hope no one heard it. Okay, come on. Bill. Let's try this again, he says to himself. Philip, you finally left your room, says the shadows. I knew you'd make it, son. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Like a family. <gasps> Was another nightmare. Shit, 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 shit. Will these effing nightmares ever stop? Uh, at least the stomach ache was part of the dream too. I don't think my heart can take this much longer. Perhaps these night terrors are a symptom of my reclusive life. Anyway. I have another exciting day ahead. Let's leave him alone, Jacob. I don't think he knows anything about Papa, says Mother. What? He's Alana. If that devil girl runs away from home, it's his duty to help us find her, says Father. Philip goes to the door to listen. This time she emptied her closet, though, says Mother. She cries. What if she's gone for good, says Mother. If that's the case, good riddance. She can look for the family she deserves in hell, says Father. She broke her boyfriend's arm two days ago, and now this, says Father. Poor Jake. She just pushed him, but he had a bad fall, says Mother. I'm so ashamed. His parents must think we raised a savage, says mother. And if we didn't have enough with her, this lazy son of yours, says father. Bah, what a waste of time. Why even bother? He's probably sleeping or playing video games. The only things he's interested in, says father. Bill says nothing. Fuck. 
Come on, Papa. Don't lose your mind now, says Phil. Are you there? I guess Phil's trying to speak with Papa on the phone. I heard my parents talking. Papa ran away from home. I'm not sure who he's talking to. This is Noelle. She took all her things. I don't think she's coming back. I'm worried. Hey, don't worry, okay, she says. She'll be back as soon as she runs out of money, says Noel. This time I have a bad feeling, says Phil. You know that Papa can be a bit unpredictable, he says. Maybe she's with that boyfriend of hers, she says. Don't think so. They had a small fight. There were some broken bones. <laughs> my lord. Says Phil. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Says Noel. Yeah. She's having a very rough time. Says Phil. Her world is crumbling down and I'm not there for her. Maybe she needs someone else to talk to. A professional. Says Noel. Come on. It's my effing family we're talking about, says Phil. Who needs a shrink when you have the church? Says Phil. <sighs> I'll keep my ears open, says Noel, okay? I'll tell you if I hear anything, she says. Something wrong, honey, says Mama. Phil's sister, Papa, she ran away from home again, says Noel. Again? Didn't she leave last month too? Mother says. I feel for the Lanas. They must be going through a lot with these two kids, says Mother. Ugh. The phone is ringing nonstop today, says Mom. Brian. What's up, neighbor? Says Brian. Trying to get in her business. Hey, Brian, says Noel. My fridge is worryingly low on beer, he says. I'm getting some six packs before I suffer my stepfather's wrath. You know where they are? says Noel. Hey, thank you for spending time with me yesterday. It was fun, says Noel. Did you think about the anime con thingy? Will you come with me, says Noel. Well, I'm a bit freaked out by being surrounded by geeks like you, Brian says. But how could I refuse? Of course I'll go. Awesome. We'll have a great time. Thank you. We'll have a great time. I promise. One of us. One of us. What is that? One of us? One of us. Noel. Do you get the reference? No, I didn't get it. I didn't, I didn't get it at all. The what? Oh, by the way, says Noel. How high is your tolerance for cringe? Uh, mid to low, says Brian. Enough to wear a Euro Nyan costume at the convention? I can't show off my 
Juneco cosplay without a uh, Nyan by my side, says Novell. I didn't understand a word you said, but okay, I guess, says Brian. Whatever makes you happy, he says. He's just trying to get in her pants. Brilliant, says Noel. Not that it was ne negotiable, she says. Good morning, Mrs. Hayashi, says Brian. Hello, Brian, says Mom. Noel, we need to talk. Please come to my office, says Mother. Sure, Mom. Something wrong, says Noel. I'll wait for you inside, she says. Nice to see you, Brian, says Mom. Will that be her mom in the future? Uh -oh. We don't know. Uh-oh. A reprimand is coming, says Brian. Did you put the soda on the wrong shelf, he says. You idiot, says Noel. I'll be right back. What's wrong, Mom? Please sit down. It was Faith on the phone. Your father's girlfriend. Oh, says Noel. He's been feeling unwell these past few weeks, so he went for a checkup, says Mother. They found the tumor in his lung, says Mom. <gasps> he got the test results today and... She pauses. <gasps> Mom, says Noel. I'm sorry, Hunter says mother. Faith said it's very widespread. He doesn't have much time left. <laughs> no, this can't be happening, says Noel. And there's Phil looking through the telescope once again hmm watching Brian go in there I'm sure talking to Noelle trying to get into her pants and what do we have here where the hell are you Noelle been silent for hours. Come on, I need to talk to you. Sorry, I didn't log in earlier, says Noel. <laughs> I've got terrible news. I'm trying to process it. What happened, says Phil. It's my father, she says. He's very ill. Terminally ill. <laughs> oh God, says Phil. I'm so sorry, Noel. Tomorrow I'll be flying to Chicago, she says. <laughs> I need to be by his side, she says. Sure. I understand. When are you coming back? 
I don't know if I'll ever come back. She says. Well, she didn't say that part, but. I want to be with him throughout the process. She says. It may be a few months. Maybe years. <gasps> as much time as he has, he has left, says Noel. I just wanted you to know, says Noel. Months, says Phil. No, Noel, wait. I'll take my next semester online, she says. And Brian will replace me at the shop. I'm sure he'll lend you a hand in whatever he, whatever he can do, she says. Ryan, no, that idiot will leave me to starve, says Phil. Please, you can't leave. I need you here with me, says Phil. Stop. S Phil, stop, says no. But I can't keep going without you, says Phil. You're the only person who cares about me here, says Phil. What the F is this all about, Phil? My father is dying, says Noel. Mm -hmm. No, I can't lose you. What am I supposed to do? F you, Phil. I love you, but you're being a selfish asshole right now, she says. Please, Noel. If you leave, I'll do something crazy, I swear. Oh, what a jerk now he's being. Oh, no, no, no. This can't be happening. The only thing that keeps me going. Please stay. I'll promise to do better. To be the person you want me to be. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. No, Phil says. Oh boy, he's... Uh oh. What the hell, Phil? Emotional blackmail? Seriously? Says Noel. Don't you ever say that shit again. Damn, this can't be happening, says Phil. <laughs> uh, nothing will change, I promise, says Noel. We'll keep texting each other like we do now. She says, Phil? And he broke his phone. Phil, remember, says Papa. Ghost or something, or spirit or something. Enough. <laughs> Paints his head in the wall. Now he's bleeding. Noel says, Don't you dare leave me like this, Phil. You're scaring me. Please answer, she says. And of course he doesn't. Because he banged his head against the wall and he's freaking out and he's going crazy. You still don't remember, do you? Says the shadows. It's us, 
says the shadows. Remember, says the shadows. so unfair, says Noel. As if I didn't have enough with dad dying, now feels acting like an asshole. I told him I'm leaving and he went nuts. He was really upset. I'm afraid he might do something stupid, she says. Don't say that. I'm sure he's fine, says mother. Moving to Chicago is the right decision, you hear me, says mom. You deserve to enjoy some time with your father while you can, says mama. Don't let Phil or anyone else ruin this for you, she says. I know, but I'm his only friend. I'm afraid he may have a mental breakdown without my help. He's already having a, he's been having a mental breakdown for months, says Noah. Okay, listen, if you really think he might hurt himself, let's call his parents. We need to warn them, says mother. Let's do this one. No. No, they'll use it as an, as an, they'll use it as an excuse to break his door down and force him out, which is what he needs. Says, but that would prevent him from getting hurt, wouldn't it? Says mother. She doesn't answer, says Noel. Huh. I guess you're right, after all, says Noel. I'm gonna call them, she says. Right now. No answer on the phone. They may be out looking for Papa, says Mom. I'm going to his place. I need to make sure he's all right, says Noel. Fine, but I'm going with you. It's late, says Mother. Phil, says Papa. Remember now, says Papa. We found her at the bus station, sleeping on a bench, the sheriff said. She was waiting for the night bus to Los Angeles, he said. Los Angeles? What the hell were you thinking about, you stupid little fool, says the father. Oh. Jesus Christ, Papa, says mother. Well, 
My work here is done, says the sheriff. I'll ask the station to close the incident, he says. And Jacob? Don't be too hard on her, he says. My Diane is, a, is the same age and, well, what can I tell you? Kids these days, he says. Puberty destroys their little brains, says the sheriff. Thanks, Gabe, the father says. I appreciate you all, all you've done. Goddamn little girl. We could give her a whacking right now. Uh, yeah. What happens here, I don't know. Another incident. This is, this is little Phil here. Should I bring Papa some soup, says Phil. She might be starving, he says. No. This has gone too far, says Father. We're going to have dinner like a family for once, he says. Go and drag your sister down here. I want her sitting in this chair now, says Father. You heard your father, says Mother. <sighs> yes, mother. Yes, father. Let's go upstairs and get our sister. It's my room. Papa's room. Papa! It's me, open the door. I think Father will call the army if you don't come down here right now. Papa! Okay, I'm coming in. shit down for sure. Where the hell are you now? The little girl's been sneaking out or something. What's going on? She's not in her room. Maybe she's in my room. I wish I can go to bed and skip dinner. Papa, what are you doing? She's got a gun. Shit, what's going on here? Uh-oh. Hey! <gasps> the power went out. On a second, says Noel. I'll give him one last chance, she says. She listens. Nothing, she says. Why don't we ring the doorbell like normal people, says Mom. Hello, Noel says. Mr. and Mrs. Lana. No answer. She rings the bell again. Oh God, Mom. Says Noel. What if they found Phil dead? What they found Phil dead and sent him to the morgue, Noel says. 
maybe they went out and feels in there all alone died we have to go in honey we can't just break into a house says mother I know something's wrong mom I really do mom doesn't answer they must have a spare hidden key somewhere says no way. Uh, we're going to end up in jail says mom check the flower pot nothing no hidden key here a clay statuette hmm you could be a good hiding place for a key Check it. Looks like the head can be detached somehow. Effort. No time for this. <gasps> Noel, says mother. I see a bright object right here. <gasps> the key. Aha! I knew it, says Noel. It's locked tight. Not anymore. You better stay out, says Noel. Don't want you going to jail, Mama. Just in case someone comes. If you see anyone come and shout. Do you do this often? Says Mother. Phil, says Noel. Ugh, what's that smell? Well, the hell is the light switch? That is dead. And little sister too. Papa, what are you doing? Says Phil. Hey! Another blackout. Really? Rose, where's the flashlight? Says Dad. <gasps> Papa! But what? Papa! No! Says Phil. No. Oh, shit! My God, what have you done? Says Phil. <gasps> oh, d darling! Says Dad. Oh, shit. <gasps> Papa, what have you done? <gasps> oh, shit. keep asking me over and over. My nightmares are taking shape and I'm afraid they hide a horrible truth. Stand up. No. 
not possible. I, I have to go out, downstairs, look for answers, and leave the room. Father? Mother? He listens. Papa? My mind remains a blur. Many images pile up in a disjointed mess. But deep inside, I know something terrible happened in this house. Phil, says Noel. What the F have you done? She says, I, I, how could you? You're a monster. No, I, father, says Phil. Mother, he says. Oh no, Papa. Papa. Stay away from me, says Noel. I, I, I didn't, says Phil. This can't be happening. I've started remembering. You don't understand. I remember now, says Phil. It wasn't me. It was... It was... Oh, Papa. But I don't understand. I've been talking to you all this time. I heard your voices, says Phil. Noel, you have to help me, says Phil. Please. Oh no. I saw it, Noel. I saw Papa. Falling into the abyss, and I, I should have done more. <sighs> Phil, says Noel. Noel, what's going on, says Mom. Where did she come from? <gasps> <gasps> yeah, my God, says Mother. Mom, call the police quick, says Noel. There's the sheriff. Boy has a lot to explain, says the sheriff. Everything points to the girl murdering her parents, he says. Got 
Then she turned the weapon on herself and... What carnage, says the police officer. I can't remember a case like this since the Johnstons, says the police officer. And that was 15 years ago, he says. Did you see the boy's room? What a mess, says the sheriff. Who knows how long he's been locked up there, he says. Poor kid, says the officer. I guess he snapped after witnessing that horror. I don't blame him. Come on, let's finish, co co let's finish cordoning off the area, says the sheriff. It's starting to get crowded here. I'm sorry you had to see that, honey, said the sheriff. Do you think you could come with me to the station? We need your statement. Of course, says Noel. Whatever you need. Oh, sheriff. Will he be okay? The doctor says he's in shock and dehydrated, but he'll recover. Don't worry about him, he'll be fine, says the sheriff. How could I be so blind, says Noel. All this time. Don't blame yourself. It's not worth it, he says. No one knows what happened. And no one knows what people are going through. We each suffer, suffer our own hell in silence, says the sheriff. Well, I think we are all done with this story. And that concludes tonight's episode. Poor Phil. He has a long road ahead to recover the lot of his, exi of his, of his existence. The safe place he was hiding in turned out to be just a figment of his imagination. But on the other hand, isn't it for everyone? Make sure you shut the doors and windows tightly. Take a look inside your closet and under your bed before going to sleep. You never know what kind of horrors are lurking in the dark. We'll see you soon in the next episode of Midnight Scene. But not seen the safe place. Well, that was pretty a decent story. A little bit of a twist at the end. I enjoyed it. It's a nice little indie horror game, I suppose. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you all later. I love you all. Bye-bye.